Because the devastation of the cyclone in Hawke's Bay is so vast, we are only just getting to some of the smaller villages between Napier and Hastings. Janneke Turellen reports. Joanna Donovan's property has turned into one giant squelching mudflat. Don't worry about taking your shoes off. She's doing her best to pick up the pieces, but there's not much left to save. I can't offer you a cup of coffee. I don't think it's going to work. Simmering behind Joanna's jokey exterior is deep heartbreak. The memories inside her lifetime home washed away. My son, all his um, childhood photographs. I've retrieved some of his stuff when he was at school. Um, but no, most of it is gone. I can't find it. It's in the mud. This is her home from the air on Wednesday when floodwaters had started to recede. Hers is the house in the middle. You can't see a high tide mark in this house because the water raged above the ceiling. A lifetime of memories here, gone in two hours. And just outside you can see just how high the water came. Apples from surrounding orchards lodged into Joanna's roof. There's the sickening smell of dead animals everywhere. Rescue crews were going door to door in the area today and checking upturned cars to make sure they haven't missed anyone. It was in the same area where they did find the body of a man in his 70s. Up the road in Omahu, the devastation is shockingly widespread. New drone footage shows a stop bank breaching between Omahu and Waiohiki. The big blow that flooded houses, schools and the marae as nature found a new way to get rid of all the water. Before the floods, this was a whole bank embankment, so the bank actually starts all the way down in um, Portaka and goes all the way through here, right down to the river mouth. And, and a whole new river just bursts through here? Yeah, so the river actually went over the bank and then it just eventually just smashed through and came right down here, all the way down Kōrakipa Road through the marae and just formed its own path. Even the Urupa, or cemetery, upturned its bones. There have been discoveries of human remains um, here, and not just in one area, quite a few areas. Those who died long ago, also uprooted by the floods. Janneke Turrallen, News Hub. Well, Janneke joins us now from Napier Port. Janneke, some help has just arrived. A little bit of help has arrived in the form of a Navy ship, the Temana, carrying 26 tonnes of much needed relief supplies. Things like PPE, sanitary items, toilet paper, food and the real biggies here, generators and fuel. But that wasn't the only big arrival here at Napier Port today. A temporary morgue has been set up both here and up the road at Hastings Hospital as authorities prepare for that death toll to rise. Janneke, thank you for that update.